Hello everybody, SSA here, aka Super Sunarashi, your coach of the Groningen Noctiles, bringing you week 9 of the PMC D-League as we take on Dell, coach of the Los Angeles Ducklers, who we faced earlier this season. I think it was week 1 of this season of the PMC. And I do want to apologize from the start for one, not telling you guys that week 7 wasn't uploaded because week 7 wasn't played because of a forfeit win for our side. Our opponent couldn't battle that week, so we got the forfeit win at that week. And last week was not only uploaded later than usual, but also didn't have commentary because I did have some time issues with some stuff in real life, you know, work and all that nonsense that I'm not gonna explain. It's just that I didn't have a lot of time to sit back and actually commentary over that match but I do have time now and I'm recording this on the day it's going to be uploaded on the Monday so here is week 9 of the PMC D League so this week we're bringing Mega Blastoise, Florgus, Miss Magius, Seismitoad, Infernape and Snorlax while my opponent brings Landorus, Fictini, Gudra, Licky Licky, Mian Xiao and Mega Venusaur so at this point, I was like, you know what, I can start off easily with Seismitoad and try to get up the Stealth Rocks. So as you can see, I am going to do that, but my opponent predicts that and is going into his Venusaur. So I'm going to switch out into my Snorlax because it was the safer bet for me, as he's actually going to sleep out of my Snorlax. So, very unfortunate. I tried to, you know get awake there but my opponent roars me out so now I'm at my Miss Magius and my Snorlax is still asleep. I'm just gonna go ahead for the energy ball here. I knew he was probably gonna switch out and I couldn't hit him with something else because I didn't have like psychic or anything. So I went for the energy ball. He switches out into his Lick Licky. I then switch out to my Blastoise where he is going to switch into his Victini. Now he's going to switch back out from his Victini into Mega Venusaur. I just Dark Pulse. It was the safest bet for me to do because going for a Scald or anything. Uh, yeah, the only thing that it could have done is maybe if he goes into the Gudra or into the Landris. But I knew a Dark Pulse was safer because it hits the Victini hard and it hits anybody hard except for the Mian Xiao. But I knew he was not going to switch in into the Mian Xiao or my Blastoise. So that's why I went for the Dark Pulse. Okay, I'm trying to refrain myself from pausing but sometimes I do need to you know pause and explain what I'm talking about during the match what my mindset was during the match so back here we're back with Snorlax and uh, Mega Venusaur so he's gonna sludge bomb as I am actually going to try to attack but you can see here we are still fast asleep now I'm still trying to, you know, get that earthquake off on this bad boy, but we can't fall asleep or we can't wake up because we're asleep and he's going to roar us out and we're back at the Mega Blastoise. So he's getting very lucky with the roars there, but I'm now going back into my Snorlax because Snorlax actually does great against the Mega Venusaur. So he's going to Giga Drain. Uh, that will trigger the Figgy Berry, so we're back at full health, so that is fine by me. I just need to actually wake the F up, which we are going to do here. We are waking up, and I am going to hit that Recycle, so we get that Figgy Berry back. So that's actually very lucky for us there, but now we're back at this Licky Licky. Now, if you remember from the last match against Dell, that Licky Licky was quite a trouble for us, and I didn't know what he was gonna have. He's actually going to Toxic here as I'm actually going to Curse up, boosting my attack and defense. But now we're Toxic, so that is, you know, kinda slowing us down in some way. <sighs> Sorry, I had to drink something there. So he goes back into his Mega Venusaur here as I'm still there with my Snorlax. I'm hitting Crunch for the off chance he wants to go to another Pokemon. Um, but yeah, 
back. I, I'm a bit tired, by the way. I just woke up, so my my apologies if the commentary isn't that good. But he's actually going to Giga Drain, trying to get as much HP back as I'm actually going for the Earthquake right here, as I just said earlier in this match. But as you can see, the poison is doing much damage to us, and it's it's going to trigger the Figgy Berry right there, as he's actually going to you know try to get as much HP back with the Giga Drain. Now I'm actually going to speed up a little bit this. We are going to recycle that a Figgy Berry again. The Giga Drain will make sure the Figgy Berry will connect again, making the Snorlax a little bit longer alive. We're now gonna curse, actually getting a lot more attack defense here to do as much damage as we can against this Tickmon that is Mega Venusaur. But as you can see here, Snorlax has taken quite some damage now and has to let go. So the Mega Venusaur will take the Snorlax down with the Giga Drain. So I'm going into my Infernape as he's actually going into his Victini. I U2 with my Infernape back into my Seismitope as he's going to switch out into Gumigang the Gudra. And now we're here with Seismitope and Gudra as I am actually going to switch out because I knew the Power Whip was coming. I did my calculations. I checked up on you know what Gudra runs and I saw Power Whip and I was like hell no I need to get out there so I went into my Florgus. Now we're here with Florgus and Victini. I'm going back into my Seismitoad and you know he's going to Thunder Wave. I didn't predict the Thunder Wave so I was luckier there and I'm gonna get lucky again here with the Blue Fair missing. I'm gonna put on my Stealth Rocks because I didn't want him to switch out into the Landris with Earthquake. He's going to Blue Flare as I'm actually going to Earthquake now and the Victini just lives on 6 HP. But at this point, I knew he was going to sack off this thing. So he's going to Psychic the Seismitoad. And I was like, Earthquake and gone is the Victini. So Seismitoad does take a kill for us against Victini. Now, Seismitoad is, by the way, nicknamed PMC. Because I had it set as PMC in the team builder. Because then at Damage Calc, I can easily search for Seismitoad just by typing in PMC if that makes sense. Uh, all of my mons were PMC but apparently I didn't save their nicknames or I you know I I, I, I made a mistake there with nicknaming my Pokemon. So we're back with Florgus against uh, Gudra here. Stealth Rocks are up on our sides and he is going to miss the Iron Tail which again after missing a blue flare, after missing this, I was very lucky in this match. But that is Pokemon. I was on the bad side as he's actually going to hit Iron Tunnel. I was on the bad side of, you know, move sets and moves missing and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. As he actually is going to die here with Miss Magius and the Dazzling Gleam. So, Miss Magius also get a kill in this match. At this point, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stay in and dash the gleam as he's actually going to sleep powder uh, because this is a choice packs set, Miss Magia. So I was stuck in dash and gleam and I'm actually going to kick a drain now and do as much damage as possible. And I was like, I'm just going to stay in and I probably should have switched out into a Pokemon that could have taken care of Mega. Venusaur there and not gaining him all of the HP with the Giga Drain, but it's fine. I'm here with my Infernape. I'm Flare Blitzing it. He's going to Sludge Button. We are living that and then we are going to, you know, hit another Flare Blitz right here. But he's going to switch out into his Landorus. The Landorus dies because of the Flare Blitz, but Infernape dies because of the huge damage that it did to the Landorus with the recoil damage. So Infernape is gone now as well and we only have Blastoise and uh, Seismitoad left. He's going to high jump kick. It's not going to take care of uh, the Seismitoad. Earthquake will do a lot of damage against the Mian Xiao. But at this point I was like, okay, I need to high jump kick to miss in order to, you know, get rid of this thing. But he is going to hit the high jump kick. Seismitoad is gone now. And now my Blastoise is the only one there. He's going to high jump kick. We lift that. And then we are going to Ice Beam here and taking care. And I'm going to pause it right here for you guys because... We still had a chance to actually win this match. Yes, spoilers, we are going to lose this match. Because if you look at his team, he has a Mega Venusaur, he has a Licky Licky on his side. But here is where I could have possibly still win the match. Um, because it's 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 based on it's based on luck. It's based on luck on my side. And I didn't was very lucky here. What what am I saying? He misses two moves. I was very lucky here. But um here's the Lick Licky, here's my Mega Blast toys. 
I went from the Skull, hoping to burn him, because I was still not sure what the Lick Licky could do against me. What I should have done was Dark Pulse and hope for the flinch, rather than for the burn. Because, as you will see here, we are going to connect with the Skull, we are going to connect with the burn, but he's going to use Icy Wind. Which is resisted, but it's going to lower our speed. So that Mega Venusaur can outspeed us. Now I'm going for the Dog Pulse here, trying to get the flinches now. Which I am going to succeed, but we should have done that way sooner. Again, it's not sure if we would have, you know, gotten the flinch there and then. And he could still, you know, connect the Icy Wind. But look at that, look at that HP that Venusaur's got. This was a very, very close match. Uh, and just like the first match I had against Dell earlier this season, it was so much fun to play this. And we also did this on Showdown because, of course, time issues with uh, Wi Fi and all that. Should have said that at the beginning of this video. But this was a very close match, and I'm so happy. That me and Dell actually had those amazing matches from the beginning of the season and now towards the end of the season. Which I'm not sure if this was the last match uh, of mine for this season. Because I'm not sure if week 10 is going to happen. Um, because again time issues, forfeits, that kind of stuff. So I think we could have done better this season. I think... It was a very difficult season for us in terms of, you know, getting used to Wi-Fi and when I actually play on Showdown, I'm feeling much more comfortable than, you know, sitting behind my DS and just, you know, having the time uh, <laughs> going down and taking... It. It's a lot of pressure Wi-Fi instead of Pokemon Showdown, but I do want to take... Dell, coach of the Los Angeles Ducklets for this match. Uh, I want to thank you guys for supporting the Groningen Noctiles during this season. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share this video with others, slash the subscribe button down below, and hit that bell icon because then you get notified every time I upload a new video. And that is sincerely appreciated. Of course, all of the links of the coaches plus the PMC. YouTube will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out as well. But I'm going to end this here, and I will see you guys in the next battle of the Groningen Noctals. Bye-bye!